Hello, viewers. Welcome to AAU Talks on AAU TV. If you are watching us from home, you can join us uh, on our Facebook page, Association of African Universities, on Twitter, AAU underscore 67. You can also visit tv.aau.org, and then you can always uh, catch us live over there. Remember, you can also follow us on YouTube, Association of African Universities. Today on AAU Talks, we are talking about building and enhancing higher education internal quality assurance using AQRM. Uh, on today's show, I have an expert in quality assurance. But before that, we go into the discussions. We'll go for a quick break. Stay with us. Hello viewers, my name is Dr. Violet Makuku of the Association of African Universities. I'm the quality assurance expert. Today I bring you a lot of good news. The African Union Commission developed the African rating, uh, quality rating mechanism for institutional evaluation in conjunction with the ministers of higher education. And what is the African quality rating mechanism, do you know it? This is a tool that is used for institutional evaluation. It helps you to improve the quality culture. It helps you to improve quality in your institution. But how do we do it? I bring you the African quality rating mechanism for institutional evaluation. This one is very important you are all welcome as African higher education institutions to take part and participate in order to improve quality in your institutions. But what is the African Quality Rating Mechanism? This one is a questionnaire that you complete as a do that you score yourselves voluntarily on how you feel you are performing in different areas, including governance, ICT infrastructure, research, teaching and learning. And the AAU together with their experts will come for a site visit and a verification process whereby we are now checking what you have scored yourselves through moving around your premises and also doing interviews with the students, our staff and all the other stakeholders whom you work with. It's a very exciting experience. And when we are done, the most important thing and the most important outcomes are your strengths, your areas of improvement, and the recommendations. And why are these important? They will help you if you are undergoing some rankings in order for you to prepare so that by the time you go for rankings, you are well prepared. They, it also prepares you for the five-year cycle of uh, the accreditation and re-accreditation. It helps you again to fully prepare for new and old program accreditation. Soon you will be getting used to it. We need also you to support us because there are some financial implications of people coming to do the site visits, experts who also need transport and other overhead costs that AAU is going to incur. So we will discuss also about that when you write to us. There is the link to the questionnaire itself. And again, the link to how you can apply and express interest, it's also shown on the screen, together with the link to the blog where we have posted this institutional evaluation details. You are most welcome. We look forward to your expression of interest at AAU. Thank you and bye-bye. Welcome back. This is AAU Talks. Today we are talking about quality assurance issues using AQRM. Uh, on today's show, I have an expert in quality assurance uh, in the person of Dr. Violet Makuku. Dr. Violet Makuku is a Zimbabwean and 
He is a quality assurance expert, as I mentioned earlier. He is also the harmonization of African Quality Assurance and Accreditation Initiative Project Officer here at the Association of African Universities. Before joining the Association of African Universities, Dr. Violet Makuku was also the director or the first director of quality assurance with the Bindura University of Science Education. She has taught as a lecturer for 14 years at the Department of uh, Curriculum Studies also uh, in Zimbabwe. Currently, she has designed a lot of training courses and she runs a lot of training courses in quality assurance here at the Association of African Universities. I can go on and on and on about what Dr. Violet Makuku has done in the field of quality assurance, but that means it will take a lot of time. Let me go to our guest and then we can start our discussion. Hello, Dr. Violet. Welcome to AU Talks. Thank you. How are you, Schneider? I'm fine. Thank Dr. you. Violet. All right. So, Dr. Violet, um, let's go straight into our discussions for today. Um, when we talk about quality assurance, most of the time we try to look out for what are some of the quality indicators we look out for when we want to say that this institution is of high quality. What are some of the indicators we look out for? Uh, thank you very much, Schneider, for the question. You know, quality assurance and quality, they are broad areas in higher education. Very, very important too. Now, some of the indicators uh, start from just having graduate employability. Okay. Where industry and other key stakeholders label certain graduates from a certain institution as a brand, okay. like a Mercedes-Benz, if we are talking of cars, and a Singer, if we are okay. talking of machines, and a LG, Samsung, something like that. Okay. Very important. All that is hinged on uh, the quality of everything that okay. happens in the institution. The service quality itself, which is timely, meeting deadlines, and also the high satisfaction rate for students and staff and other key stakeholders who deal with that institution is quite a broad. Uh, okay. okay, Dr. Violet, we talk about African quality rating mechanisms, mm -hmm. popularly known as the AQRM. Mm -hmm. What is the AQRM and then who developed this mechanism? Yes, let me start by just saying that uh, AQRM in full means uh, the African quality rating mechanism. This basically starts uh, with a questionnaire that was designed the, by the African Union Commission uh, in conjunction with ministers of higher education in the African continent. So it's not a personal thing okay. or it's not an AAU thing or okay. AU thing. It's something continental that is meant to bring harmony and the recognition of qualifications, certificates, and diplomas in institutions okay. once all the African institutions adopt it. Because then you realize that it brings certain levels and standards that can help student and staff mobility. Okay. So in terms of the AQR mechanisms, do we have uh, a special group that came up with a rating mechanism or it was just uh, the institution that came together to design this rating mechanism? No, uh, under the African Union, they took their time to take experts in quality assurance okay. and the stages actually involved uh, the quality assurance experts and also consulting with the uh, vice chancellors and experts. When the first questionnaire was done, uh, it was sent out to institutions, and this time they were only self-rating themselves. Okay. But uh, later on, an evaluation was done, and now it uh, involves also sending experts to check on what has been done in the uh, questionnaire, and then they rescore the institutions based on the interviews they will have done with the students, uh, key stakeholders of the institution, university management, lecturers, and uh, also the site visit that they do to okay. check on what really prevails on the ground. So well, now we have uh, a rating mechanism. 
and then we use that for evaluation is that the case? yes thank you so what then will be the benefit of adopting this particular rating mechanism for the universities or the institutions so in short what will be the benefits of akrm institutional evaluation okay uh, i'll tackle the benefits but then I will go back okay. to what is involved okay. in the uh, stages of the AQRIM. The benefits are that this one is an institutional evaluation process okay. where we are trying to build and enhance the quality culture in higher education institutions. So you find that if an institution has always undertaken these uh, uh, rankings, this one it's a good procedure to be involved in okay. because then by the time we finish we have areas of improvement recommendations and areas of strength so the institution can right away uh, start working on those to prepare for the uh, rankings okay. and uh, for the institutions we have done some of them have actually confirmed that when they undertook this one, when they went to rankings, they actually improved a lot. When you also look at uh, the five-year cycles which are done by the quality assurance agencies uh, in countries, you realize that when you are used to uh, the AQRM institutional evaluation, it's so easy for you to uh, do the five-year cycle. Okay. It means your documents are up to date and you only add a few things before your national accreditation board comes uh, to re-accredit you. And so everybody's task becomes easier. Okay. Yes. And then we have new programs. Okay. For those new programs and old programs that need re-accreditation, once you, it's in the institution's blood, to be involved in institutional evaluation using the AQRM, okay. then it becomes easier. They know what is expected of them. They know which documents to prepare. And they know what is uh, involved in the process. So no shock. Because you know some people just fail because they are not used to a process or a procedure. Okay. And when it comes, it's like they are shivering. They, yes. they don't know where to start from, like writing an exam. Yes, so that means we need to be very clear on the procedure so that yes. it doesn't look like far-fetched. It's not yes. achievable. Yes. So what will actually be the procedure that you have to go through as okay. an institution so that you can say, okay, this is done, checked, this is done, checked. Ah, thank you very much, Naida. Very important. So you realize that in the first instance, when an institution expresses interest, currently the African Union Commission has transferred the uh, database to AAU and also has given us the mandate to carry out the AQRM for the continent since the Association of African Universities is the apex body for higher education in Africa. Okay. and also the voice of higher education in Africa. Okay. So it's now here at AAU. Okay. People express interest. We will talk about that in the end. Okay. So when they express interest, we ask them to complete a questionnaire. This uh, AQRM questionnaire is found on the website. Okay. And there are the links. It's in French and in English. Okay. So when they download that questionnaire, we expect them to have a committee of people. It's not a one-person issue. The questionnaire is relatively long, so they will have a committee made up of some deans and people with institutional memory. Okay. And then uh, those from other departments, because we will require information from all the departments. And what they score themselves, we uh, look at uh, university governance. We look at infrastructure, okay. uh, student support services, okay. uh, laboratories, ICT, research, and teaching. The list is long. So these are the indicators that you check out for? They are the areas the okay. that we are checking on quality okay. in those. Uh, how much of research is being done? Okay. Are they publishing in uh, uh, renowned journals and in their governance? Are they observing gender issues and uh, are they having a transparent uh, form of governance? 
and in teaching what is it that they are doing in their teaching and learning is it learner centered also using ICTs in teaching it's a whole lot so under each and every one of these research teaching ICT we also have other small small aspects that we are scoring them okay. from a poor uh, satisfactory good to excellent so that committee is there to get that information on what is the score for the institution it's not for individual departments okay. so there's a lot of work involved so do you have a specific benchmark against which you say that you need to get to this level to say you are excellent do you have a benchmark and where do you benchmark it okay thank you very much within that uh, instrument we describe what poor is okay. what good what excellent is uh -huh. okay. so going on with the process when they finish uh, completing the the questionnaire they send it back to us as aau okay. and then we have experts now okay. who are looking at how they've uh, completed the questionnaire when they are done they are raising questions and uh, comments if need be we send it back to the institution because we always also recommend that once they are getting evidence that they are using to complete the questionnaire they should file that evidence okay. and label it in a special room or a cabinet which will be used by the experts when they do the site visit now okay. to go and check and verify what they've done to complete it okay. so once that is done we organize the day it takes three days to okay. do the institutional visit there's a day of going people do the three days and the last day of coming but within those three days it's interviewing those groups of people the management the lecturers the students ancillary staff and going to do the site visit and the experts the quality experts will also have time to look at the documents so when they are done, they will then have a, a meeting with uh, management and that committee to do an oral feedback where they are saying from what we have seen compiling everything together, you have these strengths as an institution, keep okay. it up. You have these areas to improve and these are our recommendations. In most cases, we ask them in order of preference to put like 10 things that they want to do okay. to make sure that already they are addressing the areas of improvement using some of the recommendations that we do. Okay. In two weeks, we are then giving them the final written report. Okay. And at a point, we are also giving them a certificate of participation. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Barlett. Um, we'll go for a quick break, and when we come back, we'll go back to our discussion on AQRM here on AAU Talks. Hello viewers. My name is Dr. Violet Makuku of the Association of African Universities. I'm the quality assurance expert. Today, I bring you a lot of good news. The African Union Commission developed the African rating, uh, quality rating mechanism for institutional evaluation in conjunction with the ministers of higher education. And what is the African quality rating mechanism? Do you know it? This is a tool that is used for institutional evaluation. It helps you to improve the quality culture. It helps you to improve quality in your institution. But how do we do it? I bring you the African Quality Rating Mechanism for institutional evaluation. This one is very important. You are all welcome as African higher education institutions to take part and participate in order to improve quality in your institutions. But what is the African Quality Rating Mechanism? This one is a questionnaire that you complete as an 
so that you score yourselves voluntarily on how you feel you are performing in different areas, including governance, ICT, infrastructure, research, teaching and learning. And the AAU together with their experts will come for a site visit and a verification process whereby we are now checking what you have scored yourselves through moving around your premises and also doing interviews with the students, our staff and all the other stakeholders whom you work with. It's a very exciting experience. And when we are done, the most important thing and the most important outcomes are your strengths, your areas of improvement, and the recommendations. And why are these important? They will help you if you are undergoing some rankings in order for you to prepare so that by the time you go for rankings, you are well prepared. They, it also prepares you for the five-year cycle of uh, the accreditation and re-accreditation. It helps you again to fully prepare for new and old program accreditation. Soon you will be getting used to it. We need also you to support us because there are some financial implications of people coming to do the site visits, experts who also need transport and other overhead costs that AAU is going to incur. So we will discuss also about that when you write to us. There is the link to the questionnaire itself. And again, the link to how you can apply and express interest, it's also shown on the screen together with the link to the blog where we have posted this institutional evaluation details. You are most welcome. We look forward to your expression of interest at AAU. Thank you and bye-bye. Welcome back. Here is AAU Talks and we are talking about building and enhancing higher education internal quality assurance using AQRM. And we are lucky to have Dr. Violet Makuku, an expert in quality assurance. Dr. Violet, before we left, we were talking about the process in uh, quality assurance. So then we, the rating mechanism. Then we talk about access, access. So are you doing it as an institutional something? Like let's say University of Ghana will say, mm -hmm. okay, I need uh, to go through this uh, rating mechanism or whatever is done under AQRM. Or is you join institutions and you do a joint uh, evaluation or it's just institutional based? This is institutional based okay. uh, because <clears throat> we are looking at an institution and how we can improve the quality culture okay. and how we can build the quality culture in that institution okay. so that it uh, becomes a better institution of higher okay. education with better graduate quality. Okay, so then uh, going forward, do you probably say, okay, we've done this for this institution, mm -hmm. we've done this, so then probably bringing those institutions together for them to benchmark against each other. Is that not also another way we can use to improve upon quality? Uh, that's another way, but that question is very good. I really want to emphasize something that the African quality rating mechanism, it's just an institutional evaluation to improve the institution. And I want to emphasize that it's not a ranking tool, okay. but we prepare them for rankings if they want, like I said before. Okay. Yes. So let's say an institution like uh, University of Ghana or let's say uh, University of Nairobi mm -hmm. wants to uh, get access to this uh, quality assurance uh, mechanism. How do they go about it? Uh, thank you very much. In terms of uh, participation, they are... Uh, go to our blog, blog.aau.org. Okay. There is the link. And uh, they express interest. Again, there is the um, shorter way to the link where they complete this form, where they are talking about who they are 
and uh, why they want to have uh, the AQRM. Okay. And then after that, because uh, we have overhead costs and we also have experts whom we need to go for site visits and we will also ask them to do some payment okay. to help us go through the process. Okay. But where we have donor funding, we make a call, an open call to the whole continent so that they apply. When they apply, we are choosing uh, institutions to participate from all the five regions of higher education in Africa. Yes. And we are also considering the language issue. Okay. Uh, francophone, anglophone, lusophone, and um, uh, Arabic. So currently, do you have it in Arabic and then, let's say, Portuguese, or is it just in French and in English? So far, it's in French and English, okay. but we are working towards having it also in uh, Arabic and uh, uh, Portuguese. Oh, okay. So when uh, we do that, we ask them to make a payment. Okay. So when they make a payment, we are now instructing them to form their committee, like what I've said, okay. the committee which is made up of people in the quality assurance department, actually they aid okay. uh, the committee. And we need a lot of people with institutional memory okay. of what has happened in the institution. Okay, thank so you very much, form uh, their committee. Dr. Violet, on the insights given on the AQRM. Mm -hmm. um, before we sign off, probably AAU has done a lot of this uh, AQRM rating mechanism, the, the AQRM mechanisms, AQRM, yeah. Evaluations. So, evaluations. Mm. So do you have any success stories that uh, you would tell about institutions that have already participated in this evaluation? Ah, thank you very much, Naida. Yes. Um, in 2017, we were lucky that uh, through the African Union Commission and European Union Commission partnership, they have the, the aqua initiative where i'm the project officer they sponsored 15 okay. uh, institutions so we picked uh, uh, from uh, morocco uh, deben university uh, zimbabwe open university and dj university in uganda and in kenya the catholic university uh, 15 institutions okay. And uh, we, uh, we also picked on, in Egypt, the Arab world, uh, Al Arsa University. Al Arsa University yes. It was highly beneficial to them. Okay. Before we even left, they told us that the procedure for completing the questionnaire alone, mm -hmm. start the process of making them see where they are not doing things well and where they are doing things right. I can give an example where they all said we didn't know what we were worth in terms of community engagement because each department had its own community engagement. Now when we were putting these things together, we realized the, uh, the wealth of uh, what we had done with communities was like. Okay. But also when you look at it, it brings uh, this good working relationship among them. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Violet. Before you leave, what will be your final words? My final words are that managers of universities, the university communities, please embrace the African Quality Rating Mechanism Institutional Evaluation because it is important for you to develop the quality culture in the institution. It's very, very important because students are looking at these uh, quality indicators for them to enroll with your university. Nigeria is one of the countries which is highly active and uh, highly adaptive to AAU initiatives among the African countries. And we really want to applaud them. Uh, during that period when we did the AQRM's Crawford University had an opportunity to get a free one and we continue to receive many applications from more institutions across the continent. So this is a good thing to follow. So we are here at AAU. Those are the links that you can get to us. Those are the contact details. Today, Contact us and 
we do the institutional evaluations together and you will never regret you will never be the same you will move to greater heights in higher education space i thank you thank you very much dr makuku uh it was an interesting discussion on aqrm so she has made a call if you want to uh, bring AAU to your institution for the evaluation. You visit uh, AAU uh, blog.aau.org and then you'll find the link. You can also find the link scrolling down here. You can follow the link and then you have access to these uh, services. Thank you very much for watching. This was AAU Talks and I was your host, Schneider Kweku Ankuma.